what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i know it's been a minute since i've done a video i've just been uh, really busy with stuff lately but i thought what better way to get back into them than uh to give you guys a first impression of the new leather jacket that i just recently got so let's go ahead and jump into it i'll give you guys an overview of the brand why i got it where i got it from and price point and whether or not i like it uh after wearing it for just a few times okay so like I said, I recently got a new leather jacket. Um, I haven't done one of these videos in a good minute, so I wanted to get, kind of get back into it by giving you guys a first impression of this jacket. Um, this obviously is the jacket. It's from a company called Leather Cult. Now, Leather Cult is, um, I found them online recently. I guess they've been around for a good minute. Uh, they're known more for making replica jackets from TV shows and movies. So if you see leather jackets in The Matrix, uh, Batman, True Blood, uh, Vampire Diaries, things like that. Any TV show movie that the main characters wear a leather jacket in, they have something from that TV show or movie. Now, the one that I had actually chose is a replica of, um, they have two from uh, True Blood, Eric Northman, one of his leather jackets. That's what I had gotten, the one he wore in the last season. They have another one, too, that he wore earlier on in the series. But I chose this one because after watching the series, I really liked the jacket and wanted to find, a, uh, find the same jacket. So I'm lucky that I found the replica of it. Um, I found out that the original jacket in the show is actually really expensive. So I'm glad that I actually got this one. <laughs> so uh, the model of the jacket, it was uh, 170 was the jacket price. And the model name was just, uh, I think it was like Eric Northman jacket number two. Because it was the uh, second jacket they have from him, uh, that they have replicas from him on the sh uh, from the show on the website. So... <sighs> Yeah, what it what kind of leather is it? It's a Napa uh, lambskin. So it's lambskin. The Napa is just, to my understanding, the way the leather's finished. Uh, it's a very asymmetrical jacket. I'm going to kind of get up here. I'm going to take it off and put it on a hanger so you guys can see it. But you can tell, like, it's very asymmetrical. Like, they, it's not an even jacket whatsoever. And I kind of like that detail about it. It's a little bit different. The fit on it is actually pretty good. I like the fit. It does fit a little bit snugger than my ones from the jacket maker. Those run a little bit snugger. Uh, it's fine for me. I actually like the way that it fits. Um, the sleeve length's good. It's a little bit snug in here, but other than that, sleeve length's good. You know, it zips up uh, decently well. Hold on, I gotta fix the zipper there. <laughs> zipper was halfway up. So, it zips up all right. For me, like I said, it it's uh it is snug. So, but it'll stretch out over time. So I'm not too worried about that. And that's the thing to keep in mind is leather will stretch over time. I don't feel like it's too tight of a feel for me. Um, I mean honestly, this is fine for me. I don't, I'm not really somebody that layers a lot. So if you're somebody that is interested in this jacket and you layer a lot, or you like your jackets a little bit looser fitting. Uh, you might want to look into sizing up, which they actually do recommend whenever you go into the jacket details. It does recommend to size up. I chose not to over the extra small, which is uh, my typical size for leather jackets. So, yeah, I kind of expected it to be a little bit snugger anyways. Now, as I had said, it is a Napa lambskin. So, being lambskin, it is um, a little bit thinner, very soft. It was very soft right out the gate. I really didn't have to break it in as far as it being stiff and stuff like that goes. I just had to give it some time to stretch out a little bit, which it's doing very nicely. I've worn it, I think, four or five times since I've gotten it. So I'm very pleased with it so far. Uh, price is 170 and they don't have any like free shipping offers or anything. Usually it's just a standard uh, $10 shipping. So it's 180 after shipping, I think. And just to let you guys know, uh, they do ship from, I think, Pakistan. So that's where their manufacturing um, facility is. So it will be a couple weeks before you get any of their jackets. But they actually give you an estimated delivery date whenever you go to order the jacket. And it was actually pretty accurate for me. I think it took about two weeks to get this jacket, which was perfectly fine for me. Okay, so I took it off and threw it on a hanger. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I just took a drink or something. But, um... I just screwed on a hanger just to show you guys a little bit better. We'll hold it back a little bit so you can see the overall look of the jacket for the front. I know because it's my lighting's not that great and I have a black shirt on, but that's the front. 
and that's the back. It's more in the cafe racer style of jackets with this stand-up collar, which actually I like that style a lot. Um, it goes very well with a lot of different things. So this has five pockets. It has a single one right here, your two uh, outer pockets, then two inside um, breast pockets. So it has your traditional um, pocket layout on it. There's nothing real funky except for the single pocket here. Uh, there's no uh, seven or eight different pockets like some uh, biker jackets might have uh, or some other jackets might have, I'm sorry. So let's um, actually get a little bit closer here and look at the, like I said, this is a very uneven jacket and I really like that a lot. So you have the single pocket here and then you have, instead of another pocket on this side, you have a flap of leather. I just knocked something over. You have a flap of leather that doesn't run all the way down the jacket. I'm not sure really what that serves except for aesthetical purposes, but I kind of like it. It's kind of a cool little look. So, and then down on the sides here, you have side adjusters to loosen it and tighten it. I just kind of left them where they were at. I was fine with that. But you have four all together, two on each side. And another cool thing about this jacket is the pockets are actually slanted. And that actually does take a little bit of use, getting used to pulling stuff in and out of your pockets. It's a little bit awkward at first, but it's fine. But they actually run at a slant. They're not straight up. Um, straight up and down and this one also goes at a slant okay so where a lot more of the asymmetrical comes in at you can tell okay so it has these shoulder patches this one has this design this one has another design and this is where they did very well with replicating the jacket and tv show you really have to look out for it but the jacket is spot on uh, a carbon copy of the same jacket that they had Eric wearing in True Blood. Now, if you look down here, you see you have your patch up here that has this design, and there's another patch on the elbow that has the same design as the opposite one. So they actually mixed, they switched the um, designs around for the elbows. Okay. Which actually I thought was a really uh, different detail. I really like that. It's not necessarily a dressy jacket. You're not going to dress this up. It's definitely a very casual item. But it's definitely different for being a casual item. And a side note, whenever you get leather jackets, um, any kind of jacket, leather jacket, suit jacket, peacoat, try and get these uh, wide shoulder hangers. It just helps to maintain the... Uh, jacket shape a little bit and before i forget for the uh collar you have this is actually another pretty cool design too you have this unsnaps so you can actually bring it around and snap it to protect your neck a little bit better and you can seal it off here so it doesn't dangle all over the place which i really like that sometimes you have these tab um tab style uh, collared cafe racer jackets that it kind of just hangs there and annoys your neck I like that this keeps it out of the way and you also have these snaps that are a cool little detail that adds a little bit more character to it and this has the zippered arms so you can adjust sizing on that and the hardware color if you can't tell by my lighting it is silver and it's a nice bright silver so overall I'm very satisfied with this jacket um, for one set 180 after shipping, you can't really beat it. It's a pretty cool jacket as far as how well it's going to hold up. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I can't speak of the quality. It feels pretty decent. So I'm hoping it holds up for a good while. Um, if it doesn't, then I'll definitely let you guys know. But um, I'm very satisfied with this jacket. Um, like I said, I seen the jacket in the show. I'm like, I really want that jacket. I had a hard time finding it. Then I happened across Leather Cult site and was actually pretty happy that it was an pretty affordable price too so overall i do recommend it like i said this jacket does run a little bit snugger so if you're somebody who likes your clothes to fit a little bit looser or you like to layer you might want to consider sizing up but they do recommend that under the jacket and i'm not sure if that's with all their jackets or just this specific model so definitely if you go on and you see something else you like look under their recommendations and see what you have to do as far as sizing goes um, i would always recommend to go 
buy what the manufacturer recommends you to buy unless you're pretty confident that whatever size you want to order is going to fit you then trust your gut but overall i would recommend going with what the manufacturer recommends if you're unsure so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my first video back uh, in i think six months now um i'm gonna try to get into the habit of doing a little bit more of these so I'll link some of my other leather jacket related videos in the description below and I'll also include a link to this jacket as well as uh, Leather Cult's website if you guys are interested in buying it. And like I said, whenever you, if you get this one, be prepared because it is very, um, very uneven, very asymmetrical. So it's going to throw you off a little bit, but I think it's a cool little detail that uh, you don't see in a lot of jackets. So um, at least not without a whole lot of zippers and pockets. This does have the zippers, but it doesn't have a crazy amount of pockets or anything. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Take care. And don't forget to like and subscribe.